Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we are going to be testing, does two burners get hotter than one? So thank you all for joining me and I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's get right into it, shall we? Okie doke folks, so there you go. Uh, that pretty much explains it and pretty well conclusive. Now to take and talk about what I've done in the video here, both of these forges were set to wide open. They were both running at 30 PSI, which is the max that is on the regulators. And I had the gates as open as needed in order to actually have uh, you know, proper combustion in the heating chamber. So. With that being said, you can see that they are both roughly right around 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit with the one end of them blocked shut and one end fully open. Now, what I mean by that is the forging in that you're looking at that, I'm, that I filmed while pointing the laser gun into, that is the open end. The other end is blocked or closed up with a couple of fire bricks. So you can see quite clearly that a, the single burner doesn't suffer any from being able to get up to heat, neither does the double burner. So what is the reason for this? Well, the reason for this is that the double burner gas forge is roughly double the cubic area that the single burner is. So the second burner takes and fills that space up with its particular heat. So it doesn't get any hotter. The only way to make the forge get hotter is to increase the size capacity of the individual burner while keeping the same dimensions of forge. So that's the same cubic area of forge. Now I will say this, that, that has a law, there's a law of diminishing returns. You will only get so hot. Thermal dynamics only works so much to a point. So it's not like if you added five burners onto the single burner gas forged body, that all of a sudden you would have five times the heat and it would be as hot as the sun. That's not how that works. Um, so it only carries you so far. So when you add more burners to a heating chamber beyond what you need in order to heat that space, that free cubic area of airspace in that atmosphere and that environment, what happens is you end up wasting more fuel. So you didn't actually add any more heat to the box, you just added more fuel consumption because you have more, you have more unspent uh, fuel coming out the fronts or the ends of the gas forge. Same thing with a double burner gas forge that's double the area. Again, that's why there's only two burners and there's not six stuffed in there or whatever. So I hope that's real clear on you. Uh, you know, I've heard some mis misinformation going around online about, you know, oh, you get twice the heat out of a double burner than what you do out of a single, and that's just false. You don't get twice the heat. 
technically you do get you get twice the BTUs output, yes, but you don't get twice the heat. It does not get two times as hot. Um, to put that in math, if it got two times as hot, the inside of that Ford should have been 5,000 degrees, but it doesn't. So hopefully that hopefully you learned something with this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe and all that jazz. Share this around with your friend or somebody who needs to hear it. And, uh, you know, make sure that you, you know, make sure that you do that and let's keep getting that kind of good information out there. Now, I will say this thing about a double burner forge, because you're throwing roughly double, double the amount of gas and fuel into a firebox, you will achieve a forging temp quicker in a double burner gas forge because simply because there is more mass that is heated up inside that and it's subjected to less cooling when you stick a piece of steel in there versus the single burner gas forge you will notice this if you buy a single and you buy a double there is a noticeable difference in uh, the heating time it takes for your piece to heat up but that's not because the forge actually got any hotter so without further ado thank you so much for watching this video Thank you for all your support, my wonderful channel members. If you would like to join them, there's that join button right under the th header of this video. You could do that. A great way to access a lot of members only perks uh, that you get with the channel. And you also get some great perks on buying things like this treadle hammer kit that we now sell over our website, www.blacksmithingblanks.com. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. God bless each and every last one of you out there, and we'll catch you on the next one.